polar regions of our planet may seem beyond the reach of most of us, but they are not beyond our influence. We unintentionally are changing these frozen realms, and these changes won't only affect the poles, but the whole planet. Wade's Glacier is a glacier with the size of Florida and tall enough to stack seven Eiffel Towers buildings on top of each other. It's also one of the most rapidly changing glaciers on Earth. A glacier in West Antarctica that contains enough ice to raise global sea levels by 65 centimeters if it were to completely collapse. It's a huge glacier that reaches right into the heart of West Antarctica. And that's a major problem, because in the past couple of decades, it has become increasingly clear that the Thwaites Glacier is falling apart. These are portraits of a vast, rugged, treacherous continent, which has challenged man since first he could sail beyond the limits of his horizon. Antarctica. First, let me explain why this glacier is melting in the first place. So this is the Antarctica ice sheet, and the part of the glacier that is floating is called its ice shelf. Today, man-made climate change is warming the water around Antarctica, causing each side of the ice sheet to melt, but at totally different speeds. The eastern ice sheet lies mostly on high ground, above sea level, which keeps it relatively safe from warm ocean water. That means it's melting slowly and remains relatively stable. While West Antarctica is totally different because it lies below sea level, that means as it thins, water can undermine it, possibly kick-starting a more rapid collapse. As this glacier is already contributing 4% to global sea level rise, adding 65 centimeters to global sea levels would be coastline changing amounts. For context, there has been around 20 centimeters of sea level rise since 1921, an amount that is already forcing coastal communities out of their homes and exacerbating environmental problems such as flooding, saltwater contamination, and habitat loss. But scientists have just confirmed that this ice shelf is becoming rapidly destabilized. The eastern and the western ice shelf now has cracks crisscrossing the surface and could collapse over an expected period of 10 years. So all there is a lot of uncertainties around Thwaites. One thing is clear, once it starts to collapse, it won't stop. <laughs>